The first ever iteration of the main room trophy lodge contest slash competition slash lodge off slash I don't know, that's all I got. It's a lodge off. I'm gonna be checking out your main rooms on PC today. And somebody will be crowned a winner with the best main room. Please subscribe. Who's it gonna be? I will be rating every lodge out of 10 with a decimal point, okay? I wanna see what you guys have done. I wanna see creativity. I don't care who's got the best trophies. It's not what this is about. Most great ones isn't gonna win you this, this contest. That's not, that's, we're looking for creativity, baby. So I'm curious to see what you guys have done. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea how easy or hard or difficult uh, this is gonna be to judge. <laughs> But we're gonna we're trying it out. Hopefully it works. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. If you guys are enjoying the stream so far, please do leave a like. If you want to see the channel grow, leave a like. If you want to see the channel grow even more, become a member. Ninety nine cents a month to become a member. You get a whole bunch of perks. We do uh, we do members only lodge tours, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyhow, let's get into it, man. We got eight lodges. Who will be the first ever main room? For the main room uh, trophy lodge competition. All right, I'm gonna do it blind. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. What do we get? Who's it gonna be? The first one ever. Uh, Alvin, you are first, my friend. Level 59. Out to ding level 60. You'd love to see that. Let's get this put away. And what do we got? Straight to the main room. All right, our first main room. A monumental moment here on the channel, here in the community, guys. Here we go. Let's take a look. We got Alvin. Alvin uh, the Svin. Nice and full. Not all of the plaques are full. That might cause... I, I mean, what happened here? Couldn't fill up those little plaques over there? You couldn't fill up the small plaques on that wall? Alright, we'll get to that. You want to see them full? If you can make them full. You want to see the lodges be full. Um, what do we got here? We got three diamond fallows. We got the huddle fallow to start us off here. An albino crocodile. A diamond bantang. A diamond move flaw and a diamond bantang. Okay. A diamond crocodile. Okay. I'm white tail. I think I'm. We're just seeing your best trophies. I think. Just a big trophy flex. Okay, that's fine. Diamond Moose, 300.6. Dark the Mela Caribou are. If you guys ever, if you guys have a a, a, a Mela Caribou and a Mela Reindeer, put them next to each other. Pretty crazy. Uh, a Gold Gemsbach. A Mela Red Fox. And a Mela Lynx. I like those. I like those. Those are nice. It's real nice. I don't have either one of those, so, you know. Get out of here with that, but also, I like that. But get out of here with that. Melanistic fallow in the middle. Between a piebald hog deer and a piebald fallow deer. Albino blue wildebeest. Cystic sandbar. So, yeah, rare trophies. Kind of just a random uh, assortment of, I'm assuming, this person's favorite trophies. Best trophies. Didn't fill up all the plaques for some reason. Could have got creative with the colors. Filled them up. You got all these trophies. I imagine you have enough animals taxidermized to fill everything. So I don't know why you didn't finish it. Now let's see what we've done for weapons here. ARs. Okay. You camo ARs flanking uh, the T23 Midnight. Catch story 12 gauge with some white wrap on it. Um, these are not wrapped. Another 454. Another 44. Another 308. Doubled up the 308 there. Okay. 38 looking real, uh, gold there. So, I, I can't come up with any correlation between guns and animals. I, I don't know if maybe, you know... Okay, maybe you used the 300 on... Okay, 300 maybe was used on the Bantang. Here's what I'm gonna say. I like the way that looks too. 
like a brass with a black camo. That looks really cool. That's my favorite thing in this whole lodge right there. Favorite thing in your whole lodge, even with all these awesome trophies, is, is that right there. I feel like this is where the most creativity went in this whole lodge. Trophies are great, but I see them all the time. It's a creativity contest. Keep that in mind. Scone, thank you so much for the uh, super chat, man. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I would give this probably solid like six. 6.2 maybe 6.2 i'm gonna say 6.2 and i feel like i'm being generous with that but it's the first one there's a very good chance a lot of people might not might not have uh you know necessarily understood the exact assignment here or what, what we're basing things on so that's fair too all right alvin thank you very much it's a good effort but i hope they will get better as we move on okay what do we get here will dill 12 level 60 we got a full lodge. Got ourselves a full lodge here. Is this me? Now I'm gonna. Now the other thing, guys. Am I just seeing. Like, if I'm just seeing main rooms that are already set up and weren't set up for the comp, I'm probably gonna know. I hope you guys are setting it up for the comp. Uh, but again, I think we're gonna see. Well, let's go through it. Got the Huddle Fallow, Piebald, Melanistic, and Albino. Uh, we got the Bison, multi-mount. An El Melanistic Plains Bison. A gray, gray wolf, and a red-brown gray wolf. Timony Strad. Sunberg, 454, no wraps. Miller, 1891. The Lockwell, 86, okay. Diamond Plains Bison, Diamond Water Buffalo, Diamond Plains Bison, Melanistic Rosie with a Melanistic Puma. That's cool. It's a big Rosie, too. 313. Diamond Puma with a Piebald Blacktail. Red Winner with an Albino and a Diamond and a Blonde and a Dark Brown. An albino lion, a melanistic reindeer, a leucistic reindeer. Melanistic with two leucistic reindeers. Three crocs randomly here. Very random feeling. Piebald, piebald, albino. Uh, three melas here. See, this is, look, okay, this is kind of our first look at somebody using colors. Three melas there with a black gun. Not a custom wrap. Miller Model 1891. I think it is, right? Is that a custom wrap? Either way, it looks really cool. Albinos with a white gun. Okay. Look at the, the pipe. Let's see here. This is Now we're seeing what we want to see. It's not random. We got the piebald section. The albino section. The Mela section. This person understood the assignment, you guys. For the most part. Again, though, we're, we're seeing just kind of a flex of, of big and rare trophies. Which is fine. But it's not what the competition's based on. Yeah. Uh, Diamond Goose, Diamond Goose. Uh, Baldusistic Goose. Uh, Mella Jackal with a dark brown Diamond Gator. And a diamond springbok. Really know why you went with the the random uh, Easter wrap there. <laughs> it's very out of place. Highballed road ear, pink feral pig. I want to look more at the guns here. What do we got going on? We got a white camo crossbow. We got that same piebald two seventy. ARs. Yeah, pretty random over here for the guns, I think. What is this, though? 300 canning. 7 mil. With, uh... Interesting, uh... Leaf. The leaf wrap. And then the 470. Just feels, yeah, pretty random. Yeah! 
Great lodge, awesome trophies, lots of rares, lots of diamonds. This is my, obviously my favorite part of it. Um, yeah, just because of this wall, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I know what I'm gonna score this. What do you guys think? Give it an 8.4, 7.9. Wall gives it a 7.3. I'm thinking in the sevens, yeah. I was thinking 7.5 for this. Who is this again? Will deal. I'm, we're gonna go 7.5. Really cool, man. You really had the right idea on this wall, which is great. If you could do more of this in here, I'd be I'd be very very proud of you. But nice work, man. Nice job, seven five. Currently the leader. I don't see it staying that way. Let's head back. Rahaga Savannah Species Main Room would be awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're looking for themes, guys. Right? We're looking for, get 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 thematic with it. Right? Is that a word? It's a word now. Yeah, a map specific theme, right? Like there's so much there's so much that you could do. You could take the, the poses into account a lot too. Yeah, you can get really creative with the different poses. Try try You're trying to do the opposite of random. Alright, who do we got? We got a nighttime. Plasma philosophy, one, two, three, nighttime lodge here. Okay, is that on purpose? some missing guns right off the bat, but let's get into it. We've got an albino fallow deer, a female. With a 22 here, a white one. Shots fired, zero. So is this just broken? Is this just another thing that's broken in Call of the Wild? It says you have four kills with this, but you haven't fired a single shot. It also says that you've killed uh, a saltwater croc with this. So yeah, as you can see now, this says zero shots fired uh, before kills and that you killed a croc with it. So I thought we'd be able to take that info into account. I don't think we can because it seems like it's broken. Okay, moving on. Albino red deer, no gun there. Uh, we've got a black, white, feral goat. Okay, feral goats up here. A mix, a black, brown, and a black, white uh, with what looks like just some random guns here, 307 mil. Uh, Diamond Cape Buffalo, no guns there, no bows mounted, 338 sitting there, Piebald Alligator, Melanistic Plains Bison. I would I would uh, go ahead and say that the nighttime is not on purpose. Doesn't seem to be. Albino Pronghorn, Leucistic Cape Buffalo, Melanistic Mallard there, we've got a Diamond Grey Wolf, we've got a Diamond Seeker Deer. Um, yeah, it just seems pretty random. Doesn't seem like it was set up for the comp. Uh, so, there's a Melanistic Croc there, pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this one, uh, I don't know, man. Again, it's, it doesn't look like it's set up for the, 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 the comp. I, I'm gonna give you a little bit higher since you've got a white animal with a white gun beside it. I'm gonna give you a 5.8. Better luck next time. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Tried to do Mela and Albino with what I had. Okay. My suggestion would be if you don't have what you need to fill it up according to your theme that you're going for, uh, just do your best, but try to fill in the slots. Um, and you know, if you don't have what you need to do a full albino and mela, maybe save that idea until you can do that and do something else. That's what I would suggest, because right now, appreciate you're going for a theme, but it doesn't look like it at all. Because you just don't have what's needed to do that theme, right? And you haven't filled in the slots either, so maybe you ran out of time, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, keep going, man. Keep going. I appreciate you. Six out of ten for trying. With the explanation at the end, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you six point five because you seem to at least understand the assignment, right? And you've, and you've got a plan, and I like that. Who was that? Crap. Who was that again? What was the name? Hopefully, Johnny. I've been, I've been trying to grow the viewership on the other games for years now, man, and it's really hard. A lot of people only watch Call of the Wild. For some reason, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, if you're not subscribed, let them know in the chat, you guys, if you can help me out with like the KC on PC uh, command, get the link in there. Please do subscribe to my second channel and, and come hang out in the streams. Um, we are less than a thousand watch time hours away from monetizing over there, so we'll get like the memberships and badges and stuff. Uh, it'll help me out a lot. I'll be able to put more time into content. Yeah, it helps me a lot, man. Please go over there and subscribe. That would help a ton. And uh, I stream over there like pretty much every day after I stream here on the main channel. So, and it's a lot of fun.
We're playing Pal World. We're playing World of Warcraft. We're playing Enshrouded. We play Fortnite over there. Fall Guys streams. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, what do we got here? Da Pod 507, level 55. Okay. What do you got for me? What do you got for me, Da Pod? We got, we got, we got, we got, we got. We got main room that's missing trophies. I don't think this was set up for the comp. Eyeballed uh, Fallow. Okay. With a camo uh, AR and a black Focoso 357. Piebald Red Deer. Piebald Red Deer. With what looks to be just a couple random guns. 223. That wouldn't have been used on Red Deer. This is not this is not good. This is not good. Let's let's move on. I'm gonna give that one a three out of ten. Alright, who do we got? Blue J648. Welcome to the Symmetry Cal Room. Welcome to the Symmetry Cal Room. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, I feel very welcome. Symmetrical Room. Okay, welcome to the Symmetrical Room. Okay. Alright. Hyping it up before I even get there. I like it. Diamond Feral Goat here. Ranger 243, Zars of Midnight. Diamond Wildebeest. Uh, some camo... Camo ARs. Lots of camo ARs. Lots of camo ARs. Okay. Uh, Diamond Cape Buffaloes. Three of them. 7mm, 243, 7mm. Uh, you got your Diamond Grand Slam. You got a Diamond Water Buffalo. Lucistic Saltwater Croc. Uh, another a Diamond Grand Slam. Diamond Turkey, Diamond Capper. Drilling Rifle. Okay, lots of diamonds. Lots of, lots of different uh, gun wraps. Okay. Sunburst. Okay. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know what to say. You got a lot of really cool trophies. What do you guys think of this one? What do you guys think, man? That's a Lucis. That's a that's a super rare saltwater croc. Um, fortunately, this, this is not it, the comp is not for how rare your trophies are necessarily here. That's a very cool trophy though. The room is mirrored. Oh. These four trophies are. Are they all diamonds? Yeah, these four trophy, these four mounts are, are mirrored on either side. That's kind. Of, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Gray in the front, three brown in the back. Oof. That would have been cool if this was like that too. All right, best. That's a super rare croc. I tried to the symmetrical. Yeah, the mirrored is really cool. So are the little mounts. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's not over the top creative, no. But uh, it's a cool idea. It's on, like it's on the right track. Um, but the gun, the guns all do seem very random. Uh, I'm gonna go seven eight. Puts it in the lead. It puts it in the lead. But I can't go eight plus on that. Blue J six forty eight. You are currently in the lead, my friend. But I'm not blown away. I haven't been blown away yet. It's more for your effort than anything. Well, thanks for letting us look at your uh, trophy lodge, Chan. Your main room. I, I appreciate it. Dev for ninety three. The themes might not be obvious. The themes might not be obvious. Might not be obvious. But I worked on the composition and aesthetics of the room as a whole. For example, the two African mounts are looking at the lion multi mount. The two multi mounts on the right are bird themed, and the middle mounts are mostly predator themed, changing between EU and NA, and finally Africa in the middle. There's a lot of attention to composition, negative space, etc. Enjoy. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate the explanation. Let's take a look. Here we go. Albino Coyote, Melaleucistic, and Diamond Mallard. Or 
moving from EU to NA to Africa in the middle. Super rare leucistic magpie? Man, that's crazy. Very uh, classic, very classic looking weapons. I, I can appreciate that. You don't have to use the wraps. Let's keep that in mind too. That one is using a wrap. That's kind of out of place there. One with a wrap. Rest of that Not the end of the world. Some, uh, some reindeer hanging out. Albino line on it. Hi. Hi, guys. I just have a little bit of room? Please, thanks, man. Some diamonds and some albinos here. Sister Gray Fox. That's friggin' awesome. I'm in Turkey. The Cystic. I bought Sandbar up there. Pretty cool. White Tarmigan. That's Africa, and that's not in the middle. Just saying. That's also Africa, and that's not in the middle. Just saying, based on what you said. Uh, Harlequin Duck. Diamond Grouse. Diamond uh, Gimsbach. Okay, okay. What do you guys think of this lodge, man? Well, based on the explanation, I really appreciate the explanation like that. Like, like, that's pretty cool. Just give me a little heads up on what to expect. It's not what I was expecting, based on the explanation. Feels a little bit more random than that. The Kudu and the Gemsbach are looking at the Lion multi mount. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's cool. I like that. I meant the main row. It was NA, Grizzly E, Wolves, Africa Middle, then NA Mountain Lion, and finally back to EU Reindeer. Okay. Okay, I, I, I love the effort that you put in with that. I never would have picked up on that on my own. <laughs> like, or it would have taken a while. Uh, but that's cool. So you, do, you do have kind of a theme as, as you go through the lodge. It kind of changes locations. That's pretty cool. I do like that you, you put attention into having the animals look at something. That's kind of cool, man. It's the first time we've seen that. I feel like you could have done that even more. Okay, Dev. Yeah, I like it. I like where, I like where your head's at. For sure. What do you guys think of this one, man? A plus? Is it A plus? They didn't really do anything with the weapons, though. That's a big part of this. But this is not A plus. 7.9 without the guns having anything to do with anything? You guys think that's... Yeah? Because that means that if the guns... played into the theme in some way... I don't know how they would. That's not that's not my job though. <laughs> that means if the guns did play in, this would be like a nine. You guys think it's that good? I don't think it's better than Blue Jay. I don't think it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tie them. Which means if we don't get a better lodge than those two, we'll have to do a tiebreaker. At the end, guns should only be worth one point. Okay, you're, you're, you're entirely missing the point. The whole point here, you guys, the guns aren't worth a certain amount and the animal's worth a certain amount. That completely defeats the purpose. The whole purpose here is that everything is one entity that works together. So if I was to score things separately, that completely defeats the purpose. The whole point here is that everything works together as one symbiotic unit. So that means everything is just as important as everything else. Not all about the trophies. It's not all about one thing. That's the exact opposite of what it's about. It's about everything working together in unison the best way that you can possibly do that. It's And it's not meant to be easy. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't want you guys to feel bad if your score is low. That's the other thing to keep in mind. This is not meant to be easy. It's meant to get you guys being creative. This game lacks that a little bit these days. <laughs> and I, I think it's a really good thing for us to do. So that's why I came up with this. But, but it's not meant to be super easy. Like, don't feel bad. Also, it's the first time for all of us doing this, right? No one has ever done anything like this before. So, so we're all learning it as we go. 
Canter? Oh gosh. One side is rare furs, other side is common furs and diamonds. Okay. Who's the zoomer? Little Corb 12. We kick this guy. He's got speed hacks. What we get? What we get? What we get? Diamond white tails. Okay. Diamond reindeers. Cool, cool, cool. Some diamond animals, some Rocky, uh, uh, Rocky and Moose, 299.3. Diamond Whitetail. Final Puma. With a Diamond Rosie. I like, I do appreciate going with the, the classic guns without wraps. Like, that's really cool sometimes. Sometimes that works even better. Uh, Diamond Grand Slam. You got the, she got her back to back Great One Black Bears. Which is nuts. Uh, and then, okay, so we went from common for, you know what I would like, to, that, is that a wrap? I think, is that a wrap? The warden. I don't know. What I was gonna say is it would be cool if you didn't wrap, you got this one wrapped. You did take that wrap. I think that's the only one wrapped here. I'm hoping you wrapped the ones on this side with the rares. I think that's what you went for. And then we got the rare side. The albino lions? Okay, pieballs with a white and brown gun. Pretty cool. This gun matches the pieball red foxes. And we got the pieball fallow up there. And then we got the malice side, uh, sort of. Need one more there. Albino wildebeest. It's cool. Pink to match the, the pink feral pig there. I know. Black gold. Mela kudu. Uh, Mela caribou. Vino blue wildebeest. Piebald lynx. Piebald red fox. Cool. Okay. Man, can you imagine if these lodges were, were like fully customizable so you could put your own, you know, your own like gun mounts up and stuff? Place them? It'd be cool to be able to place a gun on these. And even have like, I kind of wish there was like a plaque here where you could type out a custom like message on it. Or at least like a plaque with like a metal engraved metal plate. Where you could either type, type maybe not type something out, but where you, where you could, you know, select the animal and the fur type. And then it'd be like engraved on a plaque. Like there's so many cool things. There's little details that can make these lodges... There's so much, like, and then this wall, like, I can't help but feel like this lodge wasn't finished when they released it. Why is that wall blank? There's so much extra space that could be utilized in here. This is really cool, Kander. What do you guys think of this one? This is, this is good. I like this. Uh, seven, Ivan. 8.4. 6.8 to 8. 6.8 to 7.5. Make my own game. I wish I knew how, man. I think this is an even 8. Or maybe even an 8.1. You guys think that's fair? I think I'm going 8.1, which is a pretty monster score based on what we've seen today. This is good. I like it, Cantor. You did really good. Welcome to Light vs. Dark Main Room. Okay, sweet. Light versus Dark. I got high hopes, man. Neutral in the middle. Okay. Let's see. Gunski level 60. Am I seeing a theme? Guys. Am I seeing a theme? Like, everything's dark over here. Everything's really dark over here. Starting with a mellow white tail. 
Mella Plains Bison, Mella Grey Wolf times two. It's got the all Mella Bison multi now. It's really cool. And here, here's a really good opportunity for, for me to explain something here. So, like we've been talking about the whole stream, the main thing is the creativity, right? But this is where it helps to have cool trophies. Because the theme here is, yeah, more important, but at the all Mella. So not only has he followed a theme, but he's got a really cool multi now. So the trophies do matter. <laughs> just they matter just as just like the theme matters. Like it all matters together. That's a Mella Bantang. I don't even know if I've ever seen one of those. And a Mella Mountain Goat. So the dark. Dark side. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Grudunsky understood the assignment. Not only did he understand the assignment, he's got some great trophies to work with. Make something happen. So now we're into the light side. Albino, leucistic. We got the light colored weapons. We got the axe steer together, the follow up at the top. Uh, the Harleys are symmetrical here. Leucistics are symmetrical. Black Buck and Shammy. Uh, using different wraps, not just the same light wrap. These are all different. They're light, but they're they're different. We got White Diamond Fallow times three. We got the Canada Goose. Those fit into the light color for sure. 45, 45, 70. 10 mil. Uh, more geese, and then we've got the albino whitetail, uh, albino turkeys, and then to top it off, he's got something that's both light and dark. Something both that's both light and dark in the middle to kind of split it in half. What I would have liked to see, Kurdansky, is if this was turned so that the light antlers were on this side. And the darker fur is on the dark side. Uh, but it's a great idea. Also, if only this thing was two-tone. <laughs> if it was two-tone, that would work so well. But this is it, you guys. Okay, this is this is this is what we're looking for, man. This is what we're looking for. This is nine plus, man. We skipped the eights. Like, this is fully 100% utilizing everything that he could, pretty much. Like, the only thing he could have done more is, like, I, I mean, could have, like, it would be so hard to pull it off, but I could imagine trying to maybe fade the trophies. Like, maybe fade the gun colors so they go from, like, Everything, like things that are really dark here to maybe some of the lighter mellas. Maybe the guns could have gone from really dark to more of a gray here, so that it actually fades into the middle. But like this is what this, and then that, and then, and then like if we start seeing that, like that's when you're getting close to like a ten. I'm gonna give this a nine one. This is a nine one. Works super super well, man. This is really really good. Thanks, man. I love making this. I love it, man. I love that you love making it. I love looking at it. Yeah, this 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 makes me really happy. Nine one Gradunsky, our current leader. It can be hard to beat that. Gradunsky, my man, a pleasure. Thanks for letting us look at it, man. Very very good. Um, but yeah, so third place is a tie. Third place is a tie between Dev Fern ninety three and uh, Blue J six forty eight. They both got a score of 7.8 for third place. Congrats. Congratulations. Second place went to our very own Cantor on Cisco. He had an awesome lodge, awesome main room. She understood the assignment. Uh, 8.1 was Cantor on Cisco's score for the silver medal. The silver medal, second place. Congrats, Cantor on Cisco. Round of applause in chat. Round of applause in chat. And uh, first place, of course, uh, by a mile. Our 
Frank Grudunsky understood the assignment very well, and that main room was crazy. That was nuts, and that scored a 9.1. Big round of applause for Grudunsky taking the win on the first ever uh, main room. Casey's main room uh, trophy competition here. The first, the first iteration. Grudunsky. Absolute legend. Absolutely legendary. Um, good job to everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, thanks for subscribing. If you subscribe today, if you're not subscribed already, the second channel. Head over to the second channel. Someone can do the second channel command. We'll get the link up in the chat there. Just click on the link. Go subscribe. I appreciate it, man. We'll see you over there tonight. I'll be streaming on the second channel tonight. Uh, I hope to see you guys in there, man. It's going to be a blast. As always, uh, if you became a member today, if you donated, I appreciate the support. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys soon, man. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe. All that good stuff. I'll see you on the second channel shortly. You guys rock. Peace!